What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to show you a couple of products that we use to remove black streaks off the nose cap of our RV and then what we use to shine it up. So stay tuned. So for quite a while now, uh, we've had some black streaks start to form on the nose cap of our fifth wheel. And see the question asked all the time, all over Facebook, see it asked on different YouTube videos where people are talking about cleaning products. What's the best thing to use to get the black streaks off of your RV? I'm going to show you the best product I've found so far. So the nose cap of our fifth wheel is obviously fiberglass. Um, the product I'm about to show you is supposed to work on fiberglass, metal, uh, it won't harm your paint, won't take the wax off and that is Starbright Black Streak Remover. So this stuff, uh, I have used Starbright products in the past. Um, when we used to have a boat, we would take the boat out. It would always get this really, wa this water line on it that was super hard to get off. Uh, you couldn't wash it off. And the Starbright hull cleaner products I used to use always impressed me. They were fantastic. And this Black Streak Remover is no different. Um, all you're gonna do, spray it on the black streaks. They recommend letting it soak in for about 30 seconds and then you're just gonna wipe it off. And um, when I did that on our nose cap, uh, the results were very impressive. Um, I sprayed a small section at first just to make sure that it wasn't gonna discolor or do anything weird or um, affect the, the vinyl stickers on the front. Uh, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be totally safe for all that. So I used it in a small area, let it sit for about 30 seconds, wiped it off, and man, I mean, I didn't have to scrub, um, I didn't have to use anything other than just a cloth, and I just wiped it off. Uh, once you get it all wiped off, the black streaks are gone, then you're going to take a water hose and you're going to just rinse it down really good just to rinse everything off. Um, so I did the whole front cap of our RV, uh, even up on top where we had some marks still on it, like some... Uh, when we've had bugs and things on there and those little like the stains that get left on the front um, it even took those off uh, very very impressed with the Starbright uh, black streak remover super easy to use didn't didn't affect the vinyl graphics on the front at all everything still looked great when we got done uh, rinsed it all down and then I went over the top of it with the next product that I'm going to talk about which is the Aero Cosmetics Wash Wax All. Seen a lot of reviews on this stuff. A lot of people use this on their RVs. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered it. Um, we got on Amazon. My original plan was to try to use this to see if it would take the black streaks off. This isn't gonna take black streaks off. Um, if you've got a lot of really heavy dirt, if you've got road tar or something like that on the front of your RV or down by the wheel wells, it's not gonna take that off. But what this stuff will do is remove the dirt. Uh, it'll leave a nice, slick finish when you get done. You don't need any water. You can use it waterless or you can use it with water. Uh, what I did on the front of our RV after I used the black streak remover, I uh, then rinsed it down really good and then I used this, sprayed it on the front as I dried off the water. If you have a really something really dirty, car, truck, boat, whatever, uh, you can wash it first and then while it's wet you can use this on top of that while, while you're vehicle, boat, RV is still wet, you can spray this on and then you can just use uh, the microfiber cloth that it comes with and you can dry it all off and it'll leave it nice and shiny, nice slick finish. Or the other option is you can use this completely waterless if it's just some light dirt that's on uh, whatever you're wanting to wash, you don't even have to wet it. You can just spray this on, use a microfiber cloth, wipe it down and you're going to be good to go. So. Uh, I used this on the front cap of the RV. It shined it up. I mean, the front of our RV is pretty faded uh, up on top where it's been beat on by the sun over the years. But underneath, the part that doesn't get hit by the sun that was still, uh, that's still kind of shiny, and this stuff shined it right up. Um, you know, this isn't going to do as good a job as like a ceramic coating or if you buff it out. I mean, it's not going to bring it back to life and make it look like brand new if it started, started to fade. But 
it is going to be super clean. You're going to have a nice finish, uh, a nice shiny finish on the front. And, um, you know, I think it's going to really help stuff not stick to it as much going forward and be easier to wash in the future. So I'm going to finish doing the whole RV with this. Um, I'm going to do the entire RV with this stuff. The other thing that we've used this on is our truck. Um, the first time I used it, I took the truck down to a, one of the drive through car washes because it was really dirty. Um, I didn't really want to use this on a super dirty truck without washing it first. Got a really cheap car wash. It was like seven bucks. Ran it through pretty much just to knock all the heavy stuff off. And then once I got home, I grabbed the wash wax all, sprayed it down, wiped it, um, buffed it off with the cloths that they send send you and uh, beyond impressed with how shiny and how great uh, the truck looked. Um, there were a few water spots on it from the water drying on the drive home. Took the water spots right off. Uh, I mean the truck looked like I just got done hand waxing it. I mean it looked outstanding. You can use it on the chrome. Uh, it didn't affect the chrome. You can use this on uh, the plastic outside black plastic part of the mirrors. I sprayed it on there. It made those nice and black again. Uh, I mean, the stuff just worked phenomenal. And then, the next time the truck was dirty, before the truck got really, really dirty, I used this following a different uh, set of instructions that they send you for vehicles or RVs or boats that are fairly dirty. Uh, they recommend you spray this on, and then you use a wet cloth. So it doesn't have to be sopping wet. I just wet the microfiber towel, wrung it out uh, just so it was really damp and then I wiped over the uh, part of the truck that I wanted to clean and then I took a clean cloth and buffed it out and dried it and uh, that process worked fantastic I mean the truck was really dirty but it wasn't heavy build up it was just from driving on the roads in the rain you know it had some it just looked it looked pretty rough so hit it with this wet cloth dried it uh, didn't take really much time at all to go over the whole truck. You can spray this on the glass. You can spray it on everything. You can spray it on everything, on the whole truck um, and your whole RV. Use this on the inside of the truck. I've used this stuff for everything on our truck and the outside of the RV so far. Um, the kit that we got, we ordered off Amazon. So it has over four and a half star rating on over 9,000 reviews on Amazon. So excellent reviews on Amazon. Went ahead and bought it. Uh, $39.95 for the kit. It's going to get you a 16 ounce spray bottle full of wash wax all an extra gallon of wash wax all and four microfiber towels now i've done a golf cart i've done the truck twice the inside of the truck once and the whole nose cap of our rv i've used only this much out of the gallon and i've got almost a full bottle still so a little goes a really long way. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of it. Um, and just been so very impressed with how well uh, this stuff works. It seemed like the second time I did it on the truck, this, so I used the wash wax all the first time. The second time when I went back out, when I was gonna go back over it after the truck was dirty, it seemed like it just, the stuff that was on it just came right off. Um, it just seemed to clean off a lot easier the second time. So I feel like if I stay up with it, if I use this on a regular basis, um, I mean, I think it's gonna, the truck's gonna clean up super fast. So, you know, I know when you are at RV parks, um, it's always been a struggle with us. When you're at an RV park or in a campground, um, they don't really like you, you know, some of them don't like you washing your truck there. I've been looking for a waterless system that would be really convenient. So that's why I elected to use this waterless system to try it out, see if it's going to work for us. And it has been absolutely awesome. Uh, if you've been on the fence about this stuff, go ahead and get it. The Starbright Black Streak Remover, I highly recommend that too. I mean, you're going to see a lot of mixed reviews. It worked for some people. It didn't work for other people. Um, I don't know why that is because as far as the front of our RV goes, um, a Magic Eraser wouldn't take the Black Streaks off. Uh, I tried washing it with, you know, with soap and, and that wouldn't take the black streaks off. That black streak remover wiped them right away. And, uh, you know, that's, it worked great for us. So I would definitely, definitely give that stuff a try if you're having a problem with black streaks on your RV. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. I just want to show you guys what we've been using to clean up our truck and our RV. I would highly recommend both these products. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road.